I want to share three steps to take your guitar playing to the next yeah, level. Yeah. Guitar for Kids with David Aldridge. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna take the pick and we're gonna place it in between the thumb and finger on our right hand like this. Now we want the pointy part of the pick to face away from our hand. Now the remaining fingers, we're gonna wiggle them like this just to make sure that they're nice and relaxed. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the fingertips and we're gonna place them on the front of the guitar like so. We want to make sure that the pick isn't like this. It's too far back or it's too far forward like so. So we wanna make sure that the pick is flat on the string like this. So what I'd like for you to do is just to practice holding the pick like so, resting the fingertips and just making sure that your pick is flat on the string. Welcome back to day number five of this 10 day course. We will look at how to pluck a guitar using a pick. And also we'll be covering finger picking that will help you achieve learning more songs soon. You are here because you want to learn to play songs on the guitar. Become a Disney star or play guitar for your family. And you know the difference you can make if you master these things. Okay, step two, we're going to learn a basic arpeggio pattern. Now an arpeggio is where we pluck out three or more strings or notes. So today's arpeggio, we're gonna pluck the third string, the second string, the first string, and then back to the second string. Also, we have two different ways we pluck the strings. We have a down pick, which is like this. So we push in through the string, and we also have an up pick, where we go up to the ceiling. So in this arpeggio pattern, we're gonna be using two down picks and two up picks, like this. So just join in with me. So we're gonna go down on string three, down on string two, up on string one, and up on string two. The challenge is to try and keep your fingers rested on the front of the guitar like this. This is where most people go wrong when they first start learning how to pluck the guitar. They don't rest the fingers on the front and they pluck the string and pull away like this. So then it takes a lot of time to get the pick back. Okay, so we're gonna do this a few times, so just play along with me. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. And if this video is helping you, hit the like button. You are helping to support future videos like this and grow a community of people just like you who feel like they matter. You can access all 10 training videos in the description. And I recommend re-watching them as many times as you need to. Okay, so step three, we're not gonna use the pick. I'm going to show you how to finger pick. So I'm just gonna explain what the thumb does. So the thumb plays what we call the bass strings, which is string four, five, and six. So let's start there first of all. So we're gonna take the fingertips and we're just gonna, this time we're gonna rest them on the front of the strings like this. And we're gonna take the tip of our thumb and we're gonna push through string six like this and we're drawing big circles with the thumb. Okay. 
Okay, so after you've practiced that a little bit, let's move on to string five. And then string four. So we wanna make sure we're keeping the fingers on the front of the strings, and again, they're not pulling away. <laughs> Perfect, okay, so that's how the thumb works. So this time we're gonna rest the thumb on string five. And we're gonna place the index finger, this finger here, on string three. Then we're gonna place the middle finger on string two. And we're gonna place the ring finger on string one. Now this time we're gonna keep the thumb resting on the fifth string whilst the fingers play. And we're gonna take the same arpeggio pattern that we did in step two, and now we're gonna pluck with the fingers. So let's try this. So we're gonna go third string, second string, first string, back to the second string. Okay, so we're gonna do this a few more times. So just play along with me. You know, when I was growing up, I didn't really know what to do, oh. where to start. All I knew is that I had this incredible passion for playing the guitar. And I used to go to the library and learn from guitar tutorial books. Can you imagine a world without the internet? It took me ages to figure this out. And I don't want that for you. I know sometimes you get a little caught up. Can I do this well? The more skills you learn, the more you will feel confidence to do a good job. And I know that's important to you. Throughout this course, we keep coming back to your confidence. You have what it takes to achieve your dreams. Great job, now you know how to use a guitar pick and also to pluck the strings using your fingers, which we call finger picking. Okay, so I'd like to just add an extra challenge into this lesson. On the previous lessons, we learned three chords. Now, if you missed that one, please do go back and watch the lesson on chords. But we're gonna march along, pluck those chords using the guitar pick and our fingers. So first of all, we're going to use the guitar pick and we're going to start with a chord of G. And I'm resting my fingers on the front and I'm using my pick. And here we go. I'm going to do each one four times. I'm going to change to G7. Great job. Okay, let's switch over and use the fingers. So I'm taking my thumb and then I'm resting it on the fifth string. I'm gonna start with a chord of G. I'm gonna pluck out the same pattern, but using the fingers this time. Fantastic, you completed the challenge. 
you ever struggled to learn guitar, we are here to help you find your fun and power your confidence. Guitar Star in 30 Days is a fun-filled guide to learning guitar for children 6 plus, packed with challenges, facts and quizzes to make kids smile. So, get involved, get creative and remember you're amazing! Take your Guitar Star in 30 Days Challenge today by visiting davidguitarcoach.co.uk. See you in class! Let your light shine! If you were still here, I want to congratulate you. Many people won't make it this far, but not you. This tells me a lot about you. You have my complete admiration, support and encouragement. I believe it's everyone's birthright to have music in their life. And that sometimes can take courage to pull that from ourselves, not to wait or hope for. People need your music in the world right now, more than ever. They are looking for you to share your talent and your gifts. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Go out and share your gifts and make a difference in the world. Hi, I'm Caleb Aldridge. Remember me? I was in lesson one with and I playing that song right now. I'm playing Heartbreak Hotel. Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. The streets at Heartbreak Hotel. When you've got lines on your fingers, Caleb, what does it mean? You're the guitarist. You're now a guitarist, isn't it? Yes. All right, can we see your Elvis t-shirt? So cool, isn't it? Who's your number one singer? Elvis. And what's your favorite song? Heartbreak Hotel. Brilliant. And you chose me and my dad. I mean, David, but he is my dad. Me and David to be your teacher. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we finished? Bye! Bye.